My name is Mohamed Romani and I'm living in Sarajevo for now what, about 40, 50, 50 years, 52, 4 years. And this is my wife, Zena. This is my granddaughter, uh, uh, Nadia Akalta. And uh, it's a nice place to be also. Oh, it is quite different. I mean, uh, first of all, you miss the most. That's uh, 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 one thing. And uh, the lockdown. I mean, it brought people together, actually, you know, and it made us a, a bit of people, you know. We've been living so on for uh, 30, over 30 years. I uh, grew up in the life in South River. And I uh, began a while And um, this meet is quite different because of this whole pandemic. Whole pandemic. And um, yeah, it's not like a new world that we all come together and go to Moscow. This was very stressing for me after all the years that I've been living in Salt River with this beautiful community. We are one family. And the, 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 the saddest part of all was during the Ramadan when we couldn't communicate with one another. And even today, at least we could wave to one another. But it's a very sad, sad time for me. Not in my wildest dreams could I have thought something like this would have happened in my lifetime. And now the culmination this morning was so beautiful. And this was also the initiative of the South River Heritage Society. And it went viral when they announced that we're going to have the type beer from the loudspeakers and that everyone must come out onto the stoops, still holding on to the regulations of the lockdown, but coming out with social distancing, all participating in the type beer, extolling Allah, then praising Him and um, and giving all the glorification come from the, everyone from the masjids all over and just to give us this wonderful feeling of heat of celebration although we can't meet and greet one another we could wave one another and it lifted the spirits of the community and the muslims as a whole and our dua is and we ask allah through this glorification of takbir which extended to everyone alhamdulillah from the mics and all over May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala lift this pandemic and remove it from us. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to keep away all calamities and sicknesses from ourselves, from our families. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept our fast. May Allah grant us to have a wonderful day, blessed day of Eid with our families to all keep the regulations of the COVID-19 regulations and the lockdown. And we don't want to be of those who spread the virus. And we know the pandemic is here in Western Cape is spreading. So please hold on to that regulation, but enjoy yourselves, be at home, alhamdulillah. You can't go out, but you can still enjoy wonderful meals at your home. Put on your clothes, take photos, and, and with social media, you can connect to everyone, alhamdulillah. You can Zoom, you can mix, you can uh, with all, alhamdulillah, WhatsApp, and um, video calling, and then still connect in this, the ni'mah of Allah. And we're always grateful to Allah for His favors. And this is what Allah has given us as a community to come emerge even from this lockdown in the month of Ramadan, even more spiritualized, to have lived up with more than being together as families and if we could, alhamdulillah, bond that bonding and become more closer. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us to emerge from this more stronger and that with the perseverance, fortitude and the patience, sabr we had, may Allah reward us and grant even more to come inshallah in the future. May Allah also bless us all, and your families, and have a wonderful Eid.
Assalamu alaikum. My name is Shanaz. Uh, this has been our family home for over 70 years. My father was born in Salt River and he's deceased now for the past 14 years and he would have been 90 um, in this year. Uh, I, I don't, I'm not currently residing in Salt River but I still feel that this is my home and I don't think no matter where I will be in the world that I won't regard Salt River as where I've been bought, born and bred, taught madrasa, taught how to make salah, Bhante Fatima next to our neighbour. Um, and today is quite an emotional day for me because I am missing my family who's not here and I cannot go and eat without missing my father. Um, so inshallah may Allah make this easy for us that we may become out of this pandemic stronger and more with more Iman and Taqwa Allah consciousness that we've taken this month and not not only the month but the whole lockdown to reflect on our lives on our shortcomings and try to come out of this better and a stronger um, in all aspects of our lives Grand Thornton and I'm a, a pastor from a church uh, called Jubilee Community Church in Observatory. My wife and I, we've been staying in Salt River for uh, just over six years now and it's been a joy just being part of the neighborhood and seeing our friends uh, and community members uh, uh, celebrate Eid over all these, these years. For, for us it's, it's, it's a bit strange uh, celebrating Eid in the midst of this lockdown. Uh, but I've been really encouraged just to see how our neighbours have rallied around and how they've actually come together in this initiative. I've actually been, uh, you can really sense the excitement from our neighbours as they've, they've come together and still really wanted, uh, had this deep desire to connect in this, in, in, in this time. And so um, my, my prayer at least through this moment is that, um, that as as we um, rally together that this will really be a symbol of hope in the sense um, as we as we engage sort of in this crisis as well. Tony and I went on morning walks um, and on one of our morning walks Kony was we were talking about how different this Ramadan is in Salt River as well as how different Eid is going to be and then Kony spoke about um, what had been happening in England and in Italy with people coming out clapping hands at the health workers banging pots just to acknowledge health workers and kind of get that resonance of togetherness, being apart but yet feeling together. And um, from this idea, I thought, you know, as Muslims, we we do takbir on Eid morning, and then we had a short conversation about that, and I thought I should bring it to the Heritage um, Society and see if something could evolve out of that. Well, not in my wildest dreams <laughs> could I have imagined a little morning walk and chat could have evolved into something so beautiful. Yeah, we had this idea one day 
Um, a friend of mine in Toronto had actually emailed me asking for the translation to words of a song by Abdullah Ibrahim because he and his children were going to do a composition on their front stoop uh, during one of the mornings that they were out. Everyone came out for five minutes at the same time every morning to cheer on the healthcare workers and he wanted to do this Abdullah Ibrahim song and each member of his family was going to play a different instrument and he wanted to get the translation um, of, the, of the, the title of the song right. Um, and so, we, yeah, we were just chatting about different ideas of how people can still come together and have physical distancing but social solidarity. And the Salt River Heritage Committee uh, just, boom, made it happen, spoke to the various imams, um, did 4,000 flyers across the neighborhood going door to door. Um, and it's taken off and it's a really beautiful initiative um, and I feel very lucky to be welcome and part of it. Um, so when Nadia and Kony came up with the idea of having this tabir, takbir for all or together, um, the Heritage Society immediately took up this opportunity because we could see the potential of getting people uh, together but yet apart. Um, so we, we, we've been planning over the past two weeks and it's been taking off like wildfire. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Rashid Umar. I was born in Salt River. I graduated from the Salt River High School, got married, moved out of the area, and I'm delighted and happy to be back living in Salt River. I'm delighted to commend the Salt River Heritage Society for this wonderful initiative of the uh, takbir on our uh, porches, on our stoops. Uh, this has given the community somewhat of a solace in this very difficult time of a pandemic when we are celebrating the end of Ramadan, uh, the Eid al-Fitr, uh, which is a day of thanksgiving, and we are physically separated. But this has given us an opportunity, the takbir, uh, to come out on our porches, on our stoops, uh, to uh, chant the takbir and to be spiritually connected. It was really a wonderful um, opportunity uh, when we were out on our stoop this morning and greeting each other from far away, blowing kisses, just uh, waving our hands, putting our hands on our hearts uh, to show that you know we, we are connected and that we're wishing each other um, very well. Today, as I said, is a day of thanksgiving, but most of all, it is a day of hope and we celebrate the triumph of the human spirit against all odds. Once again, I wish you all Eid Sa'id wa Mubarak. May you enjoy a happy and a blessed Eid. Hi, I'm Kulsum Falyun. I'm from the Salt River Resident Association and I'm from the Salt River Heritage Society. I stay in Salt River. Ramadan during lockdown. For me, it Ramadan was a difference. It has been the best Ramadan ever. It was, I found it to be very peaceful and spiritually uplifting. I could connect with my Lord on different levels. We as a family became closer. And although we did not see our family and friends, it was amazing how creative we became by using technology. I felt we appreciated everything more. We appreciated our families. We appreciated the small things that we take for granted. The freedom of moving around, the freedom of going to mosque, the freedom of taking just a plate of eats to our neighbors. And that I had to look through a different lens to experience the situation that we're going through. Although it has been a different scenario that we're in, we were all thrown in the deep water, all the uncertainty became real. And despite it being different, we came through it victoriously. And we appreciated each other, and we supported each other through this global 
epidemic. Uh, the takbir, to, despite being a, a joyous occasion, it was a sad moment. That's why, more so ever, I usually go to mosque on an E day with my husband and the children, and we would have the takbir in the mosque. So times was changed around, we had to do it in our homes. And then we converted one of our bedrooms into a small um, mosque area. And that was unique because why? It was the togetherness and it was the closeness. So we, everybody had a chance to takbir and to glorify our beautiful Lord. I think we were all excited, nervous. We couldn't wait for that moment to run out and rush out. We had all our radios on, blaring loud, takbiring, Allahu Akbar, God is really the greatest. And despite it was pouring, that moment was almost like the heavens just opened and the sun just stopped and the rain came, the sun, the rain stopped and the sun came out. And we were standing there and the neighbors came out and we were waving to each other. And I said, wow, the beauty of Islam and the beauty of this day. Yeah, that's fine. That's perfect. I made um, like a croissant roll, and um, my daughter she likes the zata that comes from you know overseas. It's like a herbal spice with sesame seeds in. So I made a zata roll. I made a bread muffin with dates and almonds on top, and then obviously we have the spice beef, the cheese, the half biscuits. We have the pepper steak pies. I made the baked bread, and I also make some bread with zaatar inside. And then this is like um, a rice, a rice bread that the Indians make um, for Eid. Um, I've been gifted this, alhamdulillah, and Allah bless the family who gave this to me with good health, mm. with always happiness, with rizik, and Allah grant them all goodness in dunya wal akhirah. Mm. And um, I like to eat healthy, so I, I put on my avocado pea <laughs> with my um, biscuits. But this, this, this is just breakfast. And no? this you is remember? just breakfast, so... <laughs> if you go for lunch, if you see the roasted lamb, the prawn curry, you will see the rutin curry, Hey, Inshallah, it's not here. much, it's not much, but Alhamdulillah, it's just to keep the spirit there. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah, even the food that we made, it's not to boast about, it's just, you know, the traditional food that we want to keep in our home, the Eid alive, that's Alhamdulillah. all. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah.